This is Kathleen Wieses from MSU's Map Library, and we're going to use Social Explorer to uh, download census data from the American Community Survey five-year estimates. And this is a new census program uh, that we use to get social indicators for uh, censuses after 2010. Uh, for the purpose of the assignment we're working with today, we need data from the 2006-2010 estimates and then 2011 to 2015 estimates. The thing is, is that when you go in here and you say you want census tract data and you select your location, um, you need to know which um, census tracts are inside your city of interest because the census doesn't, it only, Social Explorer only provides it um, at the county level. And so you can select the census tracts down to the county level, but you don't know which ones are inside your city. There's a way you can do this. And uh, the way you do it is by using the actual U.S. Bureau of Census website, American Fact Finder. This is the way we do it. We click on Advanced Search, and um, we choose our geography tab right here. You must do it in exactly this way. We click on Name. We say we are interested in census tracts. We type in the name of the city. There are several Columbuses in the United States, and so we have to make sure we're choosing the correct one. And so uh, we have a lot of a lot of choices here, 143 choices, in fact. We can search a second word. We can well, of all these uh, Columbuses, how many of them are actually in Georgia here? And it adds it to our list of requirements here, and that shrunk the list down wonderfully. Now we only have 13 choices. And so uh, we can decide if we really want the CCD to be our choice. But here's one. Um, all census tracts or parts fully within or partially within Columbus City, Georgia. Yeah, I like that one better. I'm going to check mark this one and choose Add. Okay, so there's our geography defined. And now we can say we're interested in race data, which is under People. underneath origins and close and so now um, we have our choice of a whole bunch of tables that have something to do with origins but there's 257 tables so we can do the same thing again where we uh, we can choose race hey. there we go just one table this is asking 100% of all people and we can view the table so, so back in 1960, 1970, 1980, uh, Columbus, Georgia was census tracts numbers basically 1 through 34. Um, but things change, populations grow, the city boundaries might change also. And so this is a very helpful tool to know what's going on in the city 2010. And we can see, scrolling all the way to the end, that the city limits of Columbus, Georgia now includes a bunch of other census tracts, 104, 105, 106, with some decimals, all the way up to census tract 115. We can see that for 2010, census tract 1 disappeared altogether. It must have been a side of town that lost population over the years, and so census tract 1 disappeared, and the people who still do remain in those neighborhoods. Uh, the census tract boundaries changed, and maybe they're living in census tracts two or three now. But now we know to go all the way up to tract number 115 in order to capture the city of Columbus, Georgia.